Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a 1949 or 1950, I believe, um, Zippo lighter. This is uh, the town and country painting process with the geese. This has a five barrel hinge, which means it would have had to be 1949 or later. The geese, according to the Passionate Wick website, the geese were dropped from the town and country line of lighters for the year 1951. So other than the salesman's samples, I believe this lighter was only produced in 1949 and 1950. That period, uh, when you look at the date charts, is very confusing and some of the charts are the picture charts anyway uh, appear to contradict each other or leave things out but as I said if, it, if they quit making it if they didn't make it in 51 this particular one couldn't have been made before 49 because of the hinge and that hinge has not been repaired then it would have to be 49 or 50 and I can't really tell the difference from what I can see in those picture charts I can't tell the difference between the 59, 49 and 50 date stamp there is some discoloration there on the top portion of the geese their wings and I don't know if that there was something that had really gunked this lighter up inside um, got it out cleaned it up as you can see there where something had corroded and there was all kinds of green gunk inside as I said I cleaned that got it all out as best I can tell and it's not the original felt pad I had to rob that out of another 1950 Zippo and I re-wicked it with the cheap copper braided wick and cotton balls you can see that corrosion and whatever's happened there And I can't really tell. I 
believe these were supposed to be made of steel and then painted silver inside to inhibit rust and corrosion but the bottom of that looks brassish to me but that could be a result of whatever oxidation or whatever had happened in there before I cleaned it up I don't know the hinge is uh, while it does fall all the way it's uh, it's very snug side to side there's no wobble there So as I said, there was a bunch of gunk inside there that I had to get cleaned out. And um, it didn't appear to, to have affected the plating. And I didn't even see any of it on the paint. That's just an educated guess on my part as to why that paint is tinted a little off there. So it does show wear. It's in very good condition for the age. It would be a 70 or 71 year old lighter. Shows scuffs, scrapes, some dings, maybe even a dent or two here on the lid. Um, I think from just basically getting banged up in a drawer. As I said, it doesn't show a lot of actual wear, more like it was sliding along in a drawer for several years. So this town and country painting process was a much different, more time consuming, and a handmade deal rather than the etch and paint process that you see on a lot of lighters. Um, most of the time that you see paint on a Zippo. This was somehow airbrushed, layered paint over paint to get the desired effect after the metal was etched out in the shape that was going to be painted. If you like videos about old petrol lighters, ashtrays, tabaciana, and other useful mechanisms, then please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video that you're watching. Tell your friends about the channel. Hit that share button, copy the link, send it off in a text, email, post it on social media however it is that you communicate with people nowadays and let them get a look at it for themselves leave any comments or questions below if you can date this lighter a little more precisely that would be helpful uh, if you have any other insight that would be helpful and appreciate it we would also appreciate it if you would follow and like us across all the social media platforms Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and of course, follow us on eBay.
Until next time.